Our Weed of the Week is Scouring Rush. Well, Scouring Rush has been called a lot of different names, Brian, and I don't even want to get into Field, some of the names tail, that we hear about. There are a few different uh, names. I was yeah. thinking some more colorful ones, too. The, the thing about this weed is it's a perennial. It's got rhizomes underneath the ground and it has virtually no leaves, no place to stick a herbicide to. Right, oh, and by the way, when I mentioned field horsetail, a lot of people will say, well, field horsetail and scouring rush are two different things. They're, they're basically the same thing, kind of like how I consider water hemp and palmer pigweed basically the same thing. Well, so same either control, way, the same control yes. methods are going to work with each of these. One of them that's not as effective as some people think is tillage. And I know this from firsthand experience. We, we actually did some plowing through a patch of scouring rush. And what ended up happening is we just spread the scouring rush out wider by doing this tillage. We chopped up those rhizomes and many more plants got started. You're better off not doing the tillage, leaving it all intact, trying to move a herbicide through it, and here's the other thing, trying to change the environment so scouring rush can't thrive. Yeah, so that environment that scouring rush likes is wet. All you have Persistently to do, wet. Right, all you have to do in a lot of cases is just put some drain tile through there, get some good crop growing there, and typically the scouring rush will go away over time. Where we see scouring rush often is in areas of the field where we just can't get good consistent crop canopy or crop growth or thin stands. Those types of issues, as Brian mentioned, it often relates to drainage because we see this in the low spots and in the valleys and fields. So going way back, here's my real quick story with scouring rush. So there was a railroad company that was working with our dad on how to control this weed. They had tried super high rates of Roundup, super high rates of atrazine, super high rates of 2,4-D, and nothing was working. Well, my dad was talking to him about this, and he said, well, why do you care anyway? You got some scouring rush near your train tracks, no big deal. And they said, no, this is a really big deal because when the scouring rush gets over our train tracks, our trains can't stop. We have to kill this weed. What they ended up finding was Gramoxone or Paraquat. Now, Paraquat, Gramoxone, that's changing labeling here soon where you have to have a closed handling system. Paraquat, Gramoxone, it's basically the same danger factor to human beings as gasoline is. So be super careful if you're going to use this. But yes, this would have to be used in a burn down situation either in the spring or the fall because Gramoxone, Paraquat will kill everything. I've also heard of in crop applications of things like Reflex or Flexstar, tank mixed with Harmony GT, which normally would be a really hot mix that I'd say, you know, that's probably gonna be too hot for any kind of broadleaf crop that's out there. But you know what, if it's something that can knock back those weeds without completely killing your crop, it may be worth trying if you have an in-crop situation. Yep, but I don't think that's gonna work for you super well. So again, about our only suggestion for you is Gramoxone, either before you plant or at the end of the season. That's all the time we have for this week's Weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>